Tesla CEO Elon Musk has clinched a deal to buy Twitter for $44 billion. He describes himself as a free speech absolutist and pledged to be more lenient on policing user speech. The billionaire first announced plans to buy the social media platform less than two weeks ago. The board organized a so-called poison pill to ward off the hostile bid, but has now accepted it. Go straight to Sumi Summer Scander in Washington. Welcome, Sumi. So, how significant is this decision to accept Mr. Musk's bid? Phil, this really is huge news. You said it, Elon Musk is the richest man in the world. He is buying what is arguably the most influential social media platform in the world. Some people might not agree with that, but if you look at the fact that uh, leaders around the world use Twitter to communicate, you certainly could make that argument. And he's buying it for the sum, $44 billion. Um, the deal works out to uh, $54.20 a share. And, you know, the way that this came down itself was pretty extraordinary. Um, some of our viewers might remember that it was just earlier this month that Elon Musk had announced he was buying this big stake in Twitter, and the board decided that a takeover by Elon Musk would not be good for the company. That's because he had offered to pay a bunch of money for Twitter without saying how he would come up with that money. So they put in uh, what you mentioned already, this poison pill. It's basically a legal maneuver that makes it hard for a shareholder to buy a bigger stake. Well, fast forward to now and the board of Twitter negotiated with Elon Musk again today and decided to go ahead and the big turning point it seems is that Elon Musk was able to line up that financing in the meantime so putting together the funds for that 44 billion to follow through with this deal that is apparently what changed minds on the board and just to note uh, Phil it looks good for uh, Twitter on the stock market share price rising more than 5% in trading so that appears to be a sign that investors are confident about this deal. Elon Musk describes himself as a free speech absolutist. What changes is he likely to make to Twitter? It's a big question, Phil. A lot of people are asking. I mean, Elon Musk has made uh, no secret about the fact that he wants to see some serious changes at Twitter. First and foremost, as you said, he thinks it should be a bastion of free speech. Uh, he believes that Twitter, which is a platform, by the way, he really likes to use himself, that uh, content moderation goes way too far in the current state. And in the press statement that came out in announcing this deal, he said that free speech is the bedrock of a functioning democracy and that Twitter has to be the digital town square. So that's probably one change. He's also said that he wants to make the algorithms open source. So basically those algorithms decide what you and I see on our timelines on Twitter. And he believes that there needs to be more transparency so people can understand what content is pushed up on their timelines and why. Uh, he also has said that he wants to defeat the spam bots and authenticate all humans. So those are just um, some of the ideas. We're certainly likely to hear more from him on the coming days, probably uh, on Twitter itself. OK, so the stock market uh, reacting well to this news. Um, what other reactions have we seen? Well, ever since the rumors were trickling in uh, here in the U.S., we saw tons of reactions on social media around the world. And here really is a question of what you think of Elon Musk. So the people who think that Twitter should be a platform for free speech believe that Elon Musk is really a blessing for Twitter. He has a lot of supporters on the platform. And Phil, it was really interesting even to see people tweeting at him, applying for top positions in the company, saying, consider me as vice president for Twitter. But the overwhelming trend I saw was, um, well, doomsday prophecies, really, that Twitter, after learning to moderate content and take responsibility for content on his platform, that Elon Musk will reopen these gates and that people like the former president, Donald Trump, could be reinstated. And to sum that all up, Phil, the hashtag that was trending uh, all morning here was leaving Twitter. So that tells you at least how some people uh, are taking this news. Thank you for that, Sumi. Sumi Samaskanda in Washington.